Hello. Is this better? Oh god, okay. I've been trying to record this video for like three times. I only have like this little card that like has two things of memory. Meow. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, meow, meow. I went to the Jacksepticeye tour. It was great. It was a great experience. But it's a hell of a one because, uh... <sighs> I got to interact with Jack, Aaron, Tucker, Susie. I got to interact with Susie as well. That it was it was a hell of an experience because I got to interact with all my favorite YouTubers all in one day. Uh some of it went south, but um it was with the good with good intention. I'm, I'll get into that later on in the video. But like there are some uh Misunderstandings between me and one of my idols that I look up to. Yikes. Um, it wasn't too big of a deal. It was just me being a dummy. It all started like a month ago, obviously, whenever, like, Jack announced that, hey, I'm gonna go on tour. So he announced that he was gonna go on tour. I buy the tickets the next week. I sit, I'm sitting there with, like, several, um, devices open on the same page just to ensure that I get good tickets. But I got VIP tickets uh, to go sit in, like, row B, which is weird because for some reason there was, like, the orchestra pit you could you could sit in, but it wasn't an orchestra pit anymore. It was just had this barrier. And anyway, so technically fourth row, technically also second row. I don't know. On this road there, a lot is going through my mind, clearly. I, I also tend to rehearse what I'm going to say. It's it's like one of those shower things, you know, where you talk about to yourself like, oh, what would you do if you're in this situation? Well, I would simply blah, 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 blah. Does that sound right? And then you just have like a conversation in your head about it. I was emotionally preparing for Jacksepticeye, not for Game Grumps. I'm remembering like the times whenever like, like I've been to Mark's tour and also the Game Grumps tour, which is... Uh, very important. Like, I went to the Game Grimace tour on my birthday, uh, in 27... in 2016. Like, Aaron asked me to roast, uh, roast, uh, Waluigi, and I said he was the worst meme, and then, uh, the girl said, well, Wa Wario isn't as sexy as Waluigi. <laughs> and I, I said to Aaron, I am highly offended. And he laughed! And that, like, Ever since then, I was thinking of that day, and like it fueled fueled me with um with confidence. Cause if I can make Aaron Hansen laugh, I can do anything. <sighs> it's stupid, I know. This is important because, well, turns out, uh, the company that Jack used, uh, was Aaron's company, which is real good touring. I finally drive up to the hotel. My dad almost drives onto a train track because there's like. A fork in the road where our hotel is in a train track everyone in the cars is like sort of panicky because like is this the right the place are we at the right place uh this doesn't look like the right place this is a train track uh, my mom gets out of the car and uh to go check in and i look out my window i just see like a face like that sounds more terrifying than i look out my window and i just see like a familiar face walk by and i'm just like is that Tucker Prescott? Like, it's Tucker. I know Tucker. <laughs> and then, like, I look past Tucker. It's Aaron. And then, like, on the on the far right side is Brent, their manager. I was not prepared in the slightest. Like, I, I, I jumped out of the car without, like, with my phone. I, I tapped, uh, I tapped Tucker on the shoulder. I was like, hey, can I have a photo with you guys? I don't even, I don't, I think, I, I, I think I said that. I was shaking. I had never shook shook before. I had never been like that terrified. Why was I terrified? When I'm terrified, um, everything becomes a blur. And I remember, I remember Tucker was the one that took the photo uh, of me and Aaron, which was, of course. And I think, I think I was Tucker's first fan that like ever interacted with him, which is. Which is sort of weird to think about, considering that, um, I don't know, he's a cool dude. I would, like, I tagged him on Instagram, what can I say? 
I tried to take a picture with Brett. I was just like, do you, do you want... He's, no. No, I'm good. I, I complimented his camera skills, and then I said to Aaron, like, thank you. I think I did. Hopefully I did. I can't remember. I, I stopped in, like, a middle of a road tunnel area that, like, drives up with cars, and then like, they're like, yeah, let's not take photos here. Ugh. I felt rushed by my anxiety. I have my anxiety turned off at all times, and that's usually, like, a plot hole. Plot hole? Plot hole? One of my worst, uh, features. Because it ties in with, like, my fear of failure and, like, being scared to get back up again. <laughs> and the main thing was, I asked him, Are you guys here for Jack's tour? Again, I was nervous. Everything's spotty. Everything, including my speckled face of acne. Ha! They're representing Jack at the, at the thing. My mind translated that. Oh, they're the opening act, not they're the represent. I I, I don't I don't know. Like I posted on my Snapchat like me freaking out. Wait, Tucker, I want a photo with you. And then <laughs> Aaron, I was like, oh wow. So yeah, that happened. Oh, in their opening act for uh, the Jacksepticeye <laughs> I don't know. I, and then the show itself, I had to wait in line outside for like a good while with the VIPs. I literally have the skirt that I ordered off of Amazon that I typed in the keywords of Japanese schoolgirl skirt. Because... Miss me with that weeb shit. Uh, while I was talking to this girl, I was we were sitting in the lobby, like, eventually sitting in the lobby, and there was, like, this one guy, uh, he had the mic later on the show and, like, said he was 50 years old or so. He kept, like, staring at me, at my legs and shit. <laughs> he was, and then kept smiling whenever I met his eye. I was like, what the heck, dude? Which was a no-no, haha. <laughs> A big no-no. Um, I'm sort of used to it at this point. The show for- the pre-show, sorry. The pre-show began. I saw Aaron and, uh, and Sina, and Aaron looked down at me and I waved, and so did, uh, Sina. She waved- uh, wish you, if I'm not pronouncing that properly. Um, wish you waved at me. <laughs> ha ha! The whole show was funny. I don't want to give away, like, any spoilers. I'm sorry if you came here for spoilers. Jack specifically asked everyone to not give away spoilers, but I will talk vaguely about the show. Vernon was the mic guy this time, and uh, he walked around with the mic, and he handed it to people, and people asked some pretty cool questions. And then one person, one person in the crowd is just like, Yeah, don't pick up a PewDiePie. <laughs> and then everyone in the crowd is sort of just like, What's your problem? They're, you do realize they're friends, right? Like, how how about we we don't? Oh yeah, and in the Q and A thing, some like Jack was talking about like sun and how there's sunlight and like he how sunlight doesn't agree with him and uh because he's pasty white and then I sort of said in like a slightly raised voice, "You are the sunlight," and I I didn't expect him to hear me. But that guy, even though he d spends his entire, like, his career with headphones on in front of a computer, like, yelling, he has some phenomenal pair of ears, okay? And whenever he doesn't pinpoint exactly where the the um, person's talking, he gets upset. He's like, where are you? Where are you? <laughs> but, like, that's also him wanting to address the person head on. He, like, he's just, <laughs> thank you. Of course, he's, like, hella into sound design, which, like, I knew that much, but didn't know it to the point where he has some supersonic hearing. Everyone surprised Jack by uh, putting a green septic eye thing over their flashlight and surprising him in the crowd, which was a pretty cute gesture. It was like a group of uh, a group of uh, fans did it, the community. It was just overall fun. Jack pulled like, um, there, uh, I'll, I'll say this, there is crowd interaction, like, there is crowd interaction, like, going on stage, much like, uh, they had with Game Grumps, but not to that degree, if that makes sense, and there's a plot to, um, the show itself, and I can't give away the plot, because Jack's orders, I, th I think you can decipher, uh, 
the, by just the title of the entire show. After the show, um, there was like a huge, huge line and um, my dad went to go sit somewhere and my mom and I stood in the line. Uh, we talked about how, oh, we, my mom was like, oh yeah, we saw Aaron after the show. It was cool. And I was just like, wow, are you sure it was Aaron? <laughs> They're just like, yes, the one with the poofy hair. And it's just like, no. <laughs> While waiting in line at this point, whenever my parents were, we were talking together, I realized, wait a second, Aaron lied to me. He, he lied to my face saying that he was the opening act. I'm a dummy. That wasn't the case at all. That wasn't the case at all. Why would he lie? He had no reason to lie. And, like, I put it on my Snapchat and then I put it on my Twitter, which is, mind you, I don't have notifications on for Twitter. I don't use Twitter. I have zero followers. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was pretty bad. Uh, like, I'm a little bit good ways away from being at the merch area. And my dad walks up to me with, like, this girl, and she's like, he's like, hey, she's really, she's crying a lot, and I wanted to bring her to you, because she'll make you feel better. I was just like, <laughs> excuse me? And, um, this girl's name is Samantha. Uh, she gave, we exchanged numbers after this, and she was crying because she flew in from, all the way from Arkansas, uh, just to, um, get this one chance, one chance to meet Jack. Her parents bought her the tickets. She said that, like, the tickets cost so much, they spent so much, and now she doesn't get the chance to meet Jack, and she was, she was, uh, she earned, she was 11 years old, and she was talking about how she got, how she waited, like, two years to wait, to meet Jack. And then I tried to comfort her by telling her, like, hey, it's okay, it, it took me four years or so to even meet my idols. I, I was referring to, like, the Game Grumps thing. It gave her words of encouragement, because, I mean, of course. I, um, diverted the thing from the sad stuff and tried to make it funny. I gave her a hug, and she hugged very passionately back, which was really good. She was telling me about how her life has just been really rough as of recent because her grandma has Alzheimer's and, um, to have to go through this event and, like, it was, it was just really hard on her. And then there was this one dude with a Mickey Mouse shirt that was just like, Hey, no crying here. We're all family here. Uh, come on, positive mental attitude. Come on, let's, let's bring it in for a hug. And then he hugged all three of us. And everyone started cheering, because, like, we're all family. And what's really good about the community? It's a really good thing about this community. And I really felt it then, you know? After the show, we went to go see, uh... We, we went to go see the big eyeball. Which, I don't know if Jack even went to see the eyeball. He didn't post anything about it. He didn't say anything about it online. And that really concerns me, considering that, like, that would have been really cool! Eyeball! Uh, I, I, I will. Proceeded to tweet at Susie a picture of Aaron that, uh, with, with me in it, clearly. Um, and she, she liked that post. I was just like, wow. Wow. Okay, I went back to the hotel. I tweeted at Susie because Susie had posted this photo of Aaron. Like, I never use Twitter. I have no followers on Twitter. Not a single one. And I tweeted at Susie saying, uh, Hey, yo, look at, look at your boy glistening in the wind. And she liked that photo. And then Aaron liked that photo. And I was, I was just, whoo. But like, mind you, also remember I like put on my social media, like, lol. Uh, Aaron Hansen lied to my face. <laughs> just because I thought he did. I legitimately believed he did. <sighs> on the road back, I got some kick butt boba tea. And I also, um... I also slept. Anyway. Anyway. So, like, violent. <laughs> on, on the road back, I, I fell asleep. Like, I fell asleep, came home, fell asleep again, woke up. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna check Twitter because I want to see what Jack and Aaron are doing. Ja Aaron tweeted at me saying that I didn't lie. I said I was representing my company and, like, a company I know he, no I know he owns. And I was just, I was just like... Fuck. I accused Aaron Hansen of lying, and 
I didn't even accuse him. I told him that he lied. And uh, I hope I meet him again with a clear thought, a clear mind. <laughs> if she breathes, she's a thought! If she breathes, she's a thought! Hopefully next time I go to Dallas, I'll meet him again. <laughs> That'd be cool. I know this is stupid to say, but like, I actually, uh, I never thought I'd meet him again because I made it a goal in my mind that if I ever met him again, I would have, uh, considered each other as equals, if that makes sense. Like, I wouldn't have considered myself at a plane of existence where I feel like I have made something out of myself. Like, I'm not explaining this right. Hey, whoa, guess what? Aaron responded to me again. So, like, whenever I recorded this, I was in a state of panic. So that's why I probably sounded sad the entire video. But no, he responded to me, uh, and clarified that it was just clarification so I wasn't- so I didn't leave upset. Which, honestly, what a sweet guy. I really hope he doesn't remember me for my mistakes! Uh, I didn't really make a good ending to this video, so, uh, bye bye Hey, Aaron! What? Let's play football. But Dan, I don't know how to play football. football. Uh -huh.